you go back eight years ago, think about the, the number of clients you had back then versus the number of clients you have now. As a percentage, what has been the growth over the past eight years, do you think? we got to well, inspire somebody out there who just well, doesn't have the time to listen to okay, their calls. Okay, so, Clay, it's, it's, it's like I would go up and down from – uh, about ten thousand dollars a month up to about forty thousand was up and down roller coaster and so now we've we've got it to where we're in excess of a hundred clients that's awesome and so i would have anywhere from five clients to 20 clients on my own with networking but i had no control over it i i, I didn't without the systems you're going to be at the you're going to be victimized by your own business for the, somebody out there who struggles with math if you let's say that your average cl- number of clients was 30 and you go to 100 as a percentage what is that i i have grown i have doubled every year since working with you so i've doubled in clients i've doubled in revenue every year it's a hundred percent growth every year i've worked now so so i'm looking we've been good friends seven eight years and i've got doubled five times Yes, 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 and yes, Thrive Nation. Here we are today bragging on a longtime client that we helped to double his business every year. Let me tell you that let me tell you what this client, Tim Redmond, had to say. James, James, is it okay if I tell you what he actually said? I want to know what Tim Redmond has to say, Clay. This is what Tim Redmond had to say. Tim Redmond said, I would have anywhere from five to twenty clients from networking. But it would it would go up and down, Clay, and that's why I hired hired you. And I've doubled every year since working with you. That's a hundred percent growth. He said I've doubled five times. Now this is the point where we had worked with the guy for eight years. Let me hit play here. If you go back eight years ago. Think about the the number of clients you had back then versus the number of clients you have now. As a percentage, what has been the growth over the past eight years? Do you think? We got to well, inspire somebody out there who just well, doesn't have the time to listen to okay, their calls. Okay, so Clay, it's 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 like I would go up and down from. Uh, about ten thousand dollars a month, up to about forty thousand, but it's up and down roller coaster. And so now we've we've got it to where we're in excess of a hundred clients. That's awesome. And so I would have anywhere from five clients to twenty clients on my own with networking, but I had no control over it. I I, I didn't. Without the systems, you're going to be at the you're going to be victimized by your own business. For the, somebody out there who struggles with math, if you let's say that your average cl- number of clients was thirty and you go to a hundred, as a percentage, what is that? I I have grown. I have doubled every year since working with you. So I've doubled in clients, I've doubled in revenue every year. It's a hundred percent growth every year I've worked with now so now that think about that for a second, James. That's an unbelievable the thing. I mean you would because you've worked here, James, for what, about a year now? Yes, sir. And I don't think you've ever met Tim Redmond, have you? I have not. I've heard great things about Tim Redmond and how much of an honest guy who always honored his agreement he was. Yeah, I mean, there's just, it's, I tell you what, there's, there's people out there that, that honor their agreements and there's people that don't. And Tim Redmond was always the kind of guy who would honor his agreements. That's the kind of guy he was. You know why? Because he was that kind of guy who honored his agreement. Because that's the kind of guy he was. So I thought, it seems unbelievable. It seems, wow, I can't even believe. How how is it possible that you guys helped a guy double his business every year? Just that idea. That's incredible. Seems Well, it it seems impossible. Right. But it is possible. And the only kind of people that we want to help, okay, are people like who? Like Tim Redmond? Yeah, because who, who could, because what? Because he's an honest guy who always honors his agreements. That's the kind of guy he was. That's the kind of guy he was. And that's why we want to help who? Tim Redmond. And people like Tim Redmond that because was, he's an honest guy right? who always honors his agreements. That's Clay. the kind of guy we want to work with. And so people might say, well, who is Tim Redmond? Who is, who is he? Well, Tim Redmond is an honest guy who always honors his agreements. But you can't just keep saying that. We have to move on. You can't just say that Tim Redmond <laughs> is he is, but you can't, you know, you can't just say that. Just because that's what he did, that doesn't mean that you, you can't just upset. Let me give you some facts, okay? So Timothy Redmond was born on November 15th of 1960. Did, did you know that? I had no idea. I love the pop quiz. Who was born on November 15th of 1960? Timothy Redmond was born. Uh, on- Timothy Matthew Redmond was born. This is what this is what he was done. He was he was born there. Timothy Redmond was born in he was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let me give you some facts about Timothy uh, Matthew Redmond. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, Tim graduated from college with a Bachelor of Science degree in accounting, and he earned his, uh, his certified public accounting. That's the CPA. So he earned his CPA status. As a trained CPA, Tim Redmond started his business career working with Price Waterhouse Coopers. Now, I got to ask you, who started his career working at Price Waterhouse Coopers? Timothy Redmond. Yes, yes. Also, aka known as Tim Redmond. Right. Okay. So you, you have to say what you, my friend. That's why you work here because you are a good learner. I feel like I'm an effective teacher, but who knows? We'll we'll keep working. Okay. <laughs> so at age 25, Tim Redmond landed a job working for Tim Clur, a very a very successful entrepreneur based in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I like to call it Tulsa Jerusalem, but he's based in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And his boss was again Tim E. Clur. And if you want to learn more about it, you can I put a link on today's show notes. You can read about it. So while working for Tim E. Clure uh, at Tax and Accounting, uh, Tim Redmond uh, worked with Tim Clure as Tim Clure um, grew this business. It, Tim was there helping Tim Clure to grow that business. Uh, and so Tim Clure ended up selling that business, uh, Tax and Accounting Software, for $62.5 million when Tim Redmond, I believe, was 44 years old. That'd be April of, 20, of 2001. Now, I, I could be uh, wrong, and we'd have to ask Tim Redmond, but I, I believe that the, the, the company Tax and Accounting Software, um, which he did not start, but he helped to grow, uh, sold when he was 44 years old. And after spending years working as a consultant, author, and speaker, Tim was actually featured, featured in John Maxwell's book, 21 Laws of Leadership. Wow. Now, who was featured in John Maxwell's book, 21 Laws of Leadership? That would be Tim Redmond. Right. And so Tim Redmond hired me uh, uh, in 2012, so 11 short years after Tax and Accounting Software was sold, the company started by Tim Clure. He hired me to teach him how to start and grow a successful uh, business, uh, a successful consulting business. And so, um, but again, if you're out there today and you feel like you need help growing your business, your name might not be Tim Redmond, but you can do it. You know, and, and the thing is, we teach you turnkey systems and processes. And uh, for anybody out there, that's unbelievable. I don't believe you. I don't believe. Let's just hit play again, and let's hear what what Tim Redman had to say about growing his we business. Go back eight years it seems ago. Unbelievable. Think about the the number of clients you had back then versus the number of clients you have now. As a percentage, what has been the growth over the past eight years? Do you think we got to well, inspire somebody out there who just well, doesn't have the time to listen to okay, their calls? Okay, so Clay, it's 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 like I would go up and down from. Uh, about ten thousand dollars a month, up to about forty thousand, but it's up and down roller coaster, and so now we've we've got it to where we're in excess of a hundred clients. How many clients did he say he's in excess of at that at the time of that recording? He's in excess of about eighty clients. Oh, uh, let's go back. You, I think you might have misheard. You might you you know what you might have heard what you wanted to hear. Let's listen again. Roller coaster, and so now. We've, we've got it to where we're in excess of 100 clients. That's awesome. Oh, 100. So, 100 clients. That's even bigger. Which is a lot more than 5 to 20 clients. Wow. And so, again, we, we worked with Tim, and you might say, well, what did you what did you do with Tim? How did you help Tim? Well, I'm going to walk you through that, folks. So in 2012, when I was 30 years old, approximately, Tim Redman, he reached out to me. Uh, to learn how to grow a successful coaching business. Now, here's what happened. I had a speaking event at Victory Christian Center. Have you ever been there before? I have not. I was speaking at Victory Christian Center. And guess who else has a, had a speaking opportunity to speak at Victory Christian Center that same day? Was it Tim Redmond? Yeah, Tim Redmond was speaking at Victory Christian Center because that's what Tim Redmond does. So Tim Redmond was speaking there, and I was speaking. And afterwards, Tim approached me and said, hey, could you help me to grow my business? I've heard that you grow businesses. And I said, sure. So he invited me to his office. Now, I, I went to his office, uh, showed up there in South Tulsa, went to the office, talked to him. He told me he had about five clients. Uh, sometimes he'd have as much as 20, and he said he needed help growing his business. I said, sure. He said, you want to go out to pizza? I said, okay. So we went out to pizza. We, we went to, this is what we did. We went out to pizza. We had some pizza. I, had, I actually had a salad. We went to a place that served pizza. I had a salad. I believe it was at 91st and Yale-ish. Uh, no, it could have been 81st and Yale-ish. So we go there, and it was at the bottom of the hill by BBD. So we go there, and uh, then at that point, Tim's like, you know, could you help me grow my business? And I said, sure. Now, uh, so I started working with Tim. And as I began coaching Tim, I want to walk people through all the things we had to do to help Tim. Because Tim uh, Redmond, I mean, I wish you could have met him. 
Uh, as it, I wish you, I wish you would have worked in the office when he was here, so you could see all the things that we did to help uh, Tim Redmond grow. And I don't want anybody out there to feel overwhelmed because you too could be the next Tim Redmond. I mean, you might not be the team, Tim Redmond because Tim Redmond, it, it, Tim Redmond is who? He's an honest guy who always honors his agreement. He's and, an incredible man. And I don't know, I don't know whether you folks are going to be the next Tim Redmond, but I mean, you could be uh, competitive. You could be, you know, you maybe you could be the next Carl Smith. You could be the next whoever you are. I want you to grow my biceps by double every year for five years. That's not <laughs> what we do. I grow businesses, okay? So this is what we do. So I made a list of the things that we we did to help Tim Redmond grow his business. And I thought we could do as kind of a, a fun way to walk through um, how we we helped Tim Redmond to grow. I thought you could just I, I made a list, and there's there's more things, but I thought you could read off what we did, okay? So if you can just read the things we did to help Tim grow, Redmond to grow, and then I'll walk the listeners through through what that meant in implementation. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So here we go. Clay Clark created the redmondgrowth.com web website. Yeah, now, so if you go to redmondgrowth.com, you know, if you go there right now, Toe folks, it's redmondgrowth.com. Um, Tim Redmond uh, did not have uh, documented client case studies on his website. Um, he did not have uh, an About Us video on the website. Um, he did not have uh, a thousand words of content per page to make the website rank in search engines. He did not have objective Google reviews. He did not have, so we had to help him build. And if you're listening today and you, you need all this help, we do that as part of the coaching service. And James, can, can you believe this? This is the agreement I made with Tim. Can you, can you believe this? I said, I'm going to charge you a flat rate. And then because, you know, you don't have a lot of clients, he said he had between five and how many clients? Five and twenty. Yeah, I said I'll I'll actually let you use my business growth coaching systems. You can I'll let you use my systems, my photography team, my video, my web because we do all that photography, video, web, search engine, and you could see how overwhelming it would be um, to you know come to me and you you meet and you see that I have a team for photography, video, web, search engine, and you have all that. And I told Tim, hey, what we'll do is we will let you use my team, so you can go out there and use my exact system. You know, you can license my system. You can have access to utilize my systems to help you grow other businesses and uh, you'll just pay me seven hundred and fifty dollars uh per client to do that that's incredible yeah so it just be and how many clients did he say he had five to twenty it, but then he grew to how many 100 right so if you took a hundred clients right a hundred clients because tim said he had a hundred clients right right and if tim was paying me seven hundred fifty dollars per client how much would that be i just think about it so if you had a hundred clients not a hundred thousand but a hundred clients and you're paying me seven hundred fifty dollars per month how much should he be paying me per month that's seventy five thousand dollars per, per month. month which and again when you're helping a guy who's got just a handful of clients and he wants to to grow the upside for me the benefit that i would get to helping tim redmond would be what seventy five thousand dollars a month or just 750 dollars per client right? right and because tim redmond is what kind of guy he's an honest guy who always honors his agreements i knew that this deal would be honored right and so i thought yes yes let's help him so let's do and if you're out there listening today i'm telling you if you are stuck in a rut you might not be the intellectual juggernaut that Tim Redmond was, but you can do it. You have the tenacity, the capacity. So what else did we do for Tim? What was item number two? And please make sure you enumerate and tell us the item. So item one, item two, et cetera. All right. So item number two, uh, Clay Clark refined and created the Tim Redmond logo. Yeah. You know, one of the things is when you go to Redmond Growth, you, you, you see the website, you see the logo. Uh, he needed to create a logo that made sense. So we helped him refine that logo, create that logo. Let's let's continue. Number three, Clay, you refined and created the Tim Redmond core story now do you know what a core story is i do not okay so let's talk about let's do two examples a core story would be like uh, a, a pithy quick elevator pitch way to explain who you are and what you do okay Boom. so like eric trump is a friend of mine you know eric trump as well okay? yes sir so you say who's eric trump well, eric trump runs the trump organization okay so eric trump runs the trump organization it's like an eight billion dollar business with thousands of employees that's what he does and then a little, little meat on the bone there. Um, they run hotels, luxury resorts, properties, et cetera. You know, so it's like a quick way to explain that. Right. And so Tim, at that time, you know, the reason why he was you know, stuck at around five to 20 clients, according to Tim Redmond, was that he did not have these things in place. One of, which, the, one of the things he didn't have was a core story. And so I sat down with him and I said, so you're telling me that you worked for a guy named Tim Clure who started the company. And you joined him early on as one of the first employees. And this guy, Tim Clure, grew the company and sold it 
wow, that's a good story. You should tell people, hey, I was one of the early employees for this guy, Tim Clure, helped him grow the company. He sold it. I was also featured in John Maxwell's uh, 21 Laws of Leadership. And I said, Tim, we need to gather we need to gather testimonials. Now, why did I have to gather testimonials from people that had known Tim Redmond? Why, why was that important, do you think? Well, uh, people see what he does. It's social ap- approval. Yeah, so you go onto YouTube real quick, and you can see evidence of this. You just go to YouTube. I'm trying to make this very specific. You go to uh, rumble.com, or sorry, YouTube.com and search for Tim Redmond, and you're going to see about eight years ago, eight years ago, seven years ago, you start to see all this activity, and it's because I was helping him to take videos that he had, or, or presentations he had done, or old um, uh, speaking events, or clients who had good things to say about him, and I needed to help him get those testimonials gather those testimonials so that those would turn into uh a uh a social proof make sense right okay what else did we do for tim redmond so uh number four uh clay you helped refine and create the tim redmond value proposition yeah and so tim at that point did not have a value proposition so the value proposition is what problems do you solve so the problems we solved, he, Tim was able to call people and say, if you hire me to grow your company, I'm going to provide you photography, videography, web development, search engine optimization, online ads. He could offer everything that I offered, and he could tell people, I have a whole team that'll do this for you because he was using my systems. Right. And I knew that I had no problem with Tim going out there and r- using my exact business growth strategies and systems, which I've refined for years, because... I knew what about Tim Redmond? That he's an honest guy who always honors his agreements. That's right. So I knew I was going to get the $750 per month per client, and that's why I did the deal. That's why, like, I know, you know, a lot of times, a lot of our wonderful clients, they will listen to our podcast. Right. Uh, for encouragement and to encourage others. And in Tim's case, I knew that, you know, this is the kind of guy, you know, Tim right now, he could be listening to this podcast and he would be the kind of guy who eight years, nine years, 10 years, whatever, he could listen to the show and go, yeah, this show creates zero cognitive dissonance for me. This is the thoughts he could be having. He could be having the thoughts right now. Like this show creates zero cognitive dissonance for me because Tim Redmond is what kind of guy? He's an honest guy who always honors his agreements. That's the kind of guy he was. Right. That's the kind of guy. It's unbelievable. You know what I mean? It's incredible. And the great thing about integrity is it's it's not something that you over time. If you have high integrity which of course Tim Redmond does. Um, that's something that over time you don't you don't dishonor the agreement over time. Right. Just because you now have 100 clients. No way. That's not what you would do. Uh-uh. Uh, that's not the kind of thing that Tim Redmond would do. So let's continue. Okay, let's continue. So number five, yeah. Clay Clark refined and created the Tim Redmond outbound sales scripts. Yeah. Now the Tim Redmond outbound sales scripts. Now this is a real thing. We had to make the sales script, write the sales script. And then Tim, you know, he didn't have a team. So I had to have my team, wonderful people like yourself, were making calls on his behalf, and the calls were recorded for quality assurance. And and why do you think that Tim decided to have my team make calls when he did not have a team? Well, you have a great team, Clay. I speak for the team. We're the best team in the whole world. But if he didn't have a team, why did he use my team? Because he didn't have a team. (laughs) And why would I have my team make calls for Tim Redmond? Because you know your team is effective and is going to deliver. And I also knew that I'm going to make how much per month per client? $750 per month per client. Which makes a lot of sense. Right. Because? Because Tim Redmond is an honest guy who always honors his agreements. That's the kind of guy he is. Right. That's the kind of guy he was. That's... And you get you you say what does honest mean it just means you, you do what you say you're going to do and that's the kind of guy tim red that's why he could listen to this show and have zero cognitive dissonance it's it's, it's exciting let's continue let's go on to the next one all right so number six clay clark refined and created the tim redmond headshots now tim redmond did not have headshots he did not have headshots and by the way if someone's gonna buy from you they're typically gonna type your name into google so let's do it right now let's type in tim redmond let's do that okay I type in Tim Redmond and I click on images and there I can scroll and I start to see image of Tim Redmond, image of Tim Redmond. I keep scrolling through uh, image and I look for image of Tim Redmond. Okay. Image of, and, I, and the, the image is that, that you have to be intentional about, uh, you know, you have to be very intentional 
about the image that people find when they're searching online. It's just absolutely important. And so we helped Tim Redmond with that process. Let's continue. What else did we do for Tim Redmond? So number seven, Clay Clark refined and created the Tim Redmond PR kit. Now the PR kit is like, it's like a document. It's a one sheet. Okay. That it's an eight and a half by 11 that quickly and succinctly explains what you do front and back. So it's like a highlight reel, almost like a abbreviated magazine style resume. Right. And would you know, would you know right now, James, what some of these things were if I wasn't going through these with you? I would not. Right. And most people don't. And you know why I do business coaching It's because I teach people proven systems and processes that have been shown to work. And uh, again, the, the story about how do you help somebody double their business, it seems unbelievable, but, but it is believable. Um, and I'm just walking you through all the things we did. Now, there's other things we did, too. I'm just trying to walk you through some of those core things. That way, if you're out there listening today and you feel in any way stuck and you can't grow your company, just know that you, too, can reach out to us and we can help you grow your business just like we did for, for Tim Redmond. And we're happy to grow Tim Redmond's business because... Because he's an honest guy who always honors his agreement, That's Clay. right. That's why we like working with him. It's unbelievable. We loved working with Tim Redmond. Okay, let's continue. Yeah. So number eight, Clay Clark refined, created the Tim Redmond call recording sales system. Yeah, there's a great program called ClarityVoice.com, ClarityVoice.com. And I recommend that you use ClarityVoice.com. And what it does is it's a call recording system and it allows me to listen to the calls for quality assurance and to make sure the script is being followed with excellence and that's what we did with tim redmond now and every week every single week for every client we ever have we always have a weekly meeting and in that weekly meeting we leave that meeting with homework you as the client have homework we have homework that's how we do it and so each week we would meet with Tim and refine these systems. And, and, and again, a lot of people are listening out there today and you might have call aversion. You might be afraid to make cold calls. Uh, uh, you might not have a team that's willing to make the cold calls. And for Tim's case, would you believe that we actually not only let Tim use our call center reps, but I let him office in my office for free? That's incredible. But why would I let Tim Redmond office in my office for free, James? I mean, again, you've never met him. You just are in the office now. Right. And you you kind of hear about the legend of Tim Redmond. Why would we let Tim Redmond office for free? Well, it's incredible because he was paying you $750 per month per client, Clay. And we knew that Tim Redmond is what kind of guy? He was going to pay because he's an honest guy who always honors his agreement. That is right. That's what? He was. Let's continue there, Jeff. <laughs> so we got. I don't know why it's funny. This is a no, serious subject. We're talking about change one's life. <laughs> Number nine, Clay yeah. Clark refined and created, uh, trained the call representatives that made outbound calls for Tim Redmond to acquire new clients. So I, I, I refined and trained the call, the call representatives that made outbound calls for Tim Redmond. That's what I did. I, I had to hire these people. I had to train these people. I had to help refine them. Um, you know, so I had, I had to hire, I mean, think about this. I had to, uh, hire, I had to inspire. This is big stuff. I had to hire, I had to inspire, I had to train and retain the call representatives who made calls for Tim Redmond. And it made sense to do it, James, financially, because I'm making how much per You're client? making $750 per month per client. Now, I wouldn't do, I would not give someone free office space and make calls for them unless I knew there was a win win at the end. We call it a shalom. Right. A shalom. He, he, Tim benefits, I benefit. Let's continue. Yep. So, uh, uh, number 10, Clay Clark provided free office space for Tim Redmond so that he would have an office environment that would be attractive for the recruiting of Redmond Growth's first employees now this is where it gets really exciting you see um with tim you know he did not have a, a place that was conducive for hiring new employees um nor and, and so he did not know how to coach clients down the proven path that i've made he never done it before he did not have a team that could coach clients he did not know how to optimize a website he did not know how to run online ads ads he did not know how to do the group interview he did not know these systems but not only that in the event that he got clients he didn't have a team to do the work, nor did he have any employees who worked for him who knew how to execute the system as well. Right. So Tim said to me, he said, hey, my son, Robert, Robert Redmond, is there any way that you could teach Robert Redmond to do exactly what you do? And I said, so you mean you're asking me, can I teach your son, your trusted son, Robert Redmond? Could, could I teach your son to do exactly what I do? And he said, yes. And I said, okay. You know what? We've, we've got this incredible agreement. It's going to be a win-win. Yeah, I'll teach you. Could you imagine? I, I taught his first employee. 
who was his son. That's amazing. That's and, incredible. And, and, and I wouldn't do it unless unless he was an honest guy who always honored his agreements. That's the that's right. So let me hit play. I want you to hear Robert Redmond. This is Tim Redmond's son explaining in his own words cuz when you hear that somebody doubled their business every year since working with me, I would hope that that seems unbelievable to you. That's why I want to give you some facts here. Center. I was yeah. speaking there. My name is Robert Redmond. I uh, actually first met Clay almost three years ago to the day. I don't know if he remembers it or not, but I wasn't working with him at the time. I asked to see him and just ask him some questions to help you know, direct my life, to get some mentorship. Uh, but I've been working with Clay for now just over a year. Uh, the role I play here is a business coach, uh, business consultant. I work with different businesses, implementing uh, best practice processes and systems that I have uh, learned here uh, by working with Clay. And the experience working here has, to put it real plainly, has been just life changing. Um, I have not only learned new things and uh, have gained new knowledge, uh, but, but I have gained a whole new mindset um, that I believe wherever I end up uh, will serve me well throughout the rest of my life. Since working with Clay, uh, I have learned so much. I mean, I would like to say almost everything about about business in terms of the different categories. I haven't learned it all, uh, but I've learned all about marketing. I've learned about advertising. I've learned about branding. I've learned how to create a sales process for organizations in any industry. I've learned how to sell. Uh, I've learned how to create repeatable systems and processes and uh, hold people accountable. Um, you know, how to hire people. It j- it's, it's almost like every aspect of a business you can learn. I have learned um, a lot in, in those different categories. Okay, James, I mean, if you had to summarize what Robert Redmond just said, this is the first employee for Tim Redmond. This is his son. And you had to explain what he just said. If you had to kind of repeat it back, again, you never had an opportunity to meet Robert Redmond or, or, or Tim Redmond, but what, what, he, what did he just say? He said that you taught him how to hire, how to train, how to do sales scripts, how to do advertising, how to do marketing. You mentored him. You gave him a, a new mindset that's going to benefit him for the rest of his life. That's incredible. And, and again, I, I would be a fool. Would I, would I not be a fool? to invest that much time. I mean, think about it. You help the guy get all these clients. You help the guy learn all the systems. You train their first employees. You give them free office space. That that would not be a smart move to do unless I had an agreement. Right. Right? Right. And, and, the, only, and the only way that I could work with a guy as uh, the only way I could work with a guy like Tim Redmond and, and not lose sleep over like, is this a good use of my time? I mean, think about the work that went into that. Was it, I had to work with somebody like Tim Redmond, who is uh, the kind of guy uh, who, who James. I mean, you can, you've never met him before, but he's the kind of guy who he, was. He's just an honest guy that always honors his agreement. But it'd be a, I'd be a fool to work with a guy. I, would I be a fool to, to mentor a guy and teach somebody? Oh, yeah. Exactly what I do. I mean, this would be like um, the guy who owns a McDonald's, right? Right. And the guy next door comes to him and says, yeah, yeah. hey, I own a burger. So I have a burger business, but I don't know how to make burgers, don't know how to sell burgers, don't have any employees. And can I office in your building for free to make my burgers? <laughs> that would be like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, buddy. <laughs> it wouldn't make any sense unless Tim Redmond was. Unless he's a honest guy who's always honored his agreements. Yeah, so let's hear, let's hear more from Robert Redman. This is an unbelievable story that I want to be believable. I want people to understand. This is not a charlatan story. This is a story of, of facts. Right. This is a story about truth. This is a story about how we help Tim Redmond to grow to 100 plus clients in his own words it's incredible it's incredible it's a mind melting story and i hope it's i hope it's encouraging for somebody out there there's somebody out there who's going gosh i don't know if i can do it but let me tell you this you might not be the 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 mental juggernaut that that tim redmond was you might not be the living legend that tim redmond was but you know what you, you might be if you're humble if you're coachable if you're trainable if you have the tenacity needed to put in the effort i can teach you how to be successful let's hear more from robert redmond here we go uh, and then, uh, again, the, the mindset that I've gained here um, has been huge. You know, uh, working here, uh, you, can't, you, you can't be a mediocre person. 
Um, you are uh, a call to a higher standard of, of excellence. And then as you're called to that standard here, you begin to see those outcomes in every area of your life, uh, that standard of excellence that, that you want to implement um, no matter what you're involved in. Uh, I would like to describe the other uh, people that, that work with Clay uh, are people that are going somewhere with their life. Uh, Marshall in, in the group interview uh, talks about how uh, you know the, the best fits for this organization are, are the people that, that are goal-oriented. So they're on their own trajectory, and we're on our own trajectory. And uh, the, the best fits are those people where there can be a, a mutually beneficial relationship. That- Oh, just let that sink in for a second. Just marinate. This is why this is why we loved helping people like Tim Redmond because it's just like when you sit down and you help somebody create that win-win, that shalom relationship, right? And and you're you're helping the client win and you're winning. Oh, that feels great. And you have an agreement that's signed and you know the client's going to honor their commitment. And again, you're you are better at math than most people but if 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 there's a hundred clients that tim has and he's paying me 750 dollars per client how much money would i be making that's seventy five thousand per month yeah and you heard him talk about it right now when i was started working with him and he had you know just a handful of clients that's not a very good deal it's not you know uh when you're giving someone free office space and you're mentoring them and you're providing you're training their son and you're providing photography and video and web and you're you're teaching them every system that you've created up to that point uh it it doesn't feel like a lot of fun when you're doing that because you're not making any money but once you get to us the shalom the win-win the the ultimate it's it's the holy grail of the, business the, the win, fruit win. of the tree yeah it's the win-win once you get there that's an incredible feeling and again i would not have helped tim redmond unless i knew what what james unless you knew he was an honest guy who always honored his agreement that's 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 the that's the kind of guy that we would work with let's continue james so what, what's the next thing that we did to help tim redmond grow that business so at number 11 clay clark conducted weekly group interviews so that tim redmond could find and hire new employees now a lot of people struggle to find new employees i i don't struggle to find new employees but tim had a hard time at first finding new employees he had a hard time you know and so i did the group interview every week and i actually helped him find those in, employees Employees. In fact, he brought in an employee. I trained him named Harley. I brought another. He brought other employees. I trained them all. An uh, employee named Nicole. Nicole got a chance to uh, be mentored. She, they, they, and actually, his staff came to every one of my staff meetings. That's amazing. So it's like their staff was in my staff meetings. Their staff was in my building for free, in my staff meetings for free, learning all my systems. And uh, think about that. And again, you, you wouldn't do that kind of thing unless it was a shalom win-win relationship that you were working towards. Let's continue, James. What else did we do to help Tim Redmond of Redmond Growth to grow his business? Number 12, Clay Clark conducted the Monday morning meetings to train Tim Redmond's first employees. And you've been in my office. You've been in my office a long time. Every morning, every Monday, we have the staff meeting. We do. And it's a way just to make sure people aren't drifting, to keep people on track. That's what we did. Let's continue. Number 13, Clay Clark provided daily coaching meetings and training for Tim Redmond's team. That's what we did. And the reason why we did it is because we knew that this was going to be a win-win relationship that was going to last a long, long time. Let's continue. Number 14, Clay Clark trained Tim Redmond's first coach, consultant, his son, Robert Redmond. As we talked about earlier, let's continue. So number 15, Clay Clark taught Robert Redmond and Tim Redmond search engine optimization. Now, this is big, and I'm just going to take notes here. I, I, I had to teach, and do you know what a permalink is? I do not. Okay, so I had to teach, uh, I had to teach uh, Robert Redmond, okay, and Tim Redmond um, how search engines work, but there's a lot of uh, media on the bone there okay so when we talk about search engine optimization you gotta teach them how meta meta content works okay uh and this is there's a lot of detail here to it so i'm gonna just show you an example okay so what makes somebody come up top so we're gonna we're gonna call this show today i'm gonna make a a document so you you, i'm making sure i'm teaching you something okay yeah so uh, the permalink that's the content after the dot com so we'll go ahead and make today's page we'll call today's page um we'll call it this is um, we're gonna call this here pull this up okay the permalink is going to be thrivetimeshow.com because that's the the root which produced the fruit that's the website right and we're gonna go call it tim let's say um uh discover 
Let's say, let's say, well, let's do this. We want to figure out what we're trying to optimize for. So what we want to do is we want to make it when people are searching for Tim Redmond, they can hear this great story because this is a, hopefully an encouraging thing for somebody. Okay. So we're going to call this thrivetimeshow.com forward slash Redmond. Okay. Growth consulting. Right. And then we'll call this Tim Redmond Tulsa business coach right? Success story. You see what I did there? Okay. Now that the title tag, that is the words right here. So you see the title right here? This is the title right here. I do. So I'm going to call this title. I'm going to call this Redmond growth consulting vertical bar. And we'll go Tim Redmond, uh, business, uh, coach success story. That's the title tag. Then you have the description. Now the description, that right here, that is the word that's the words that come underneath the title tag in the search results right there. Okay. So we're gonna put um learn about the uh Redmond the Redmond Growth Consulting and Tim Redmond um success story. And then, so we're, we're putting that in there, right? And then as far as the keyword, we put that in there, Tim Redmond, Redmond Growth. You, you get the idea. So that, that's, the, and again, most people don't know that stuff. They don't know you have to have a thousand words of content uh, per page. Most people don't know that if you want to optimize for a, a keyword, what you want to do is whoever has the most content about a subject gets to come up top in the search results. That's how that works. Whoever's the most, whoever's the most content, the most canonically compliant website, do they follow the Google rules, the most mobile compliant, and the most objective reviews, right? So uh, that is, uh, again, there's four, th four steps to being top of the Google search results. It's whoever has the most content, the most objective Google reviews, the most uh, uh, com mobile compliant website, and the most reviews. And we, that's how we do There's four steps. Again, the most Google compliant, Compliant, okay, the most mobile compliant, the most Google reviews, and the most content. That's how we do it. And so we helped Tim learn, and it can be a lot of information to learn, but we taught him those uh, systems. So next thing we did, point number 17, we taught Redmond what there, sir? Uh, Clay Clark taught Robert Redmond and Tim Redmond how to build landing pages that convert. Yeah, so when you go to redmondgrowth.com today, um, you'll scroll down and you'll see what's called a one sheet. And the one sheet on the Tim Redmond page looks uh, really identical to my one sheet it's almost like it's the same system you know um, and that's because it is the same system and that's why we taught tim redmond that's why we had an agreement with him and that's why we were excited to help tim redmond grow so let's continue but again if you have a landing page and your landing page doesn't convert don't beat yourself up you just these are all just the, these are there are hundreds of things you need to do to grow a business i'm just walking you through some of the things that we did to help tim redmond grow okay next number 18 number 18 clay clark taught robert redmond and tim redmond how to write search engine optimization content most people have no idea how to do that uh, robert had no idea tim had no idea we helped them to optimize the website and and again, you, you talk about um, how to ho they, they didn't know about how to host the website with a hosting service that would make the site rank properly. They didn't know how to write the content. They didn't know how to optimize the content. And that's why they came to me. And that's why we had that win-win relationship. Let's continue number 19. 19. Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to train a sales team. Uh, most people have never trained a sales team. And in the case of, of Tim and Robert, um, they had never seen how a business coaching organization scales uh, and the way our scaled. And what happens is when you have a, a sales team or a business growth a consulting team, you have to meet with your coaches every single morning. So when you come to work every single day, every day, our coaches are already here. They are. And it's because we're going over any client issues or opportunities that need to be dealt with. You can't let things drift. And so you got to deal with it daily. So we had to go over that. Okay. There's a, a process for that. Next thing we had to do was teach Robert and Tim how to do what? You had to teach him how to conduct the group interview. There's a process that we have for hiring, inspiring, training, and retaining great people. We taught them that. Uh, what's the next one there? Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to launch online advertisements. It could be confusing what kind of ads work, what kind of ads don't work, but we taught them how to do it. What else did we do there, sir? Uh, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to track online uh, advertisements. So once you have your ads, you have to know if they work or not. And we taught them how to do that. Number 23. Yes, sir. 
Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to turn speaking events into viable leads. You know, a lot of times there's wonderful speakers out there like Tim Redman. They go speak to an audience of thousands or hundreds or whatever the number is, and they don't they're not able to turn those leads, those 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 attendees into leads. And if you're gonna speak as an educator, as an expert educator in front of an audience of thousands, the idea is you'd want to turn those um, attendees into viable leads. And so we taught Tim and Robert Redman how to do that. And you know why we taught him how to do it? Yeah, because he's an honest guy who always honors his agreements. That's right. Let's continue. Yeah. So Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to acquire new clients. That's a big process. We, we taught them how to do the initial assessment. Um, there's a big process. So we had to teach these people, you know, Tim Redman and Robert Redman, how to do the initial onboarding. So we had to teach Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to do the initial client onboarding because there's a process to that you know when somebody out there is wanting to do business with you uh, they're going to want to know is you know whether it's a tile company whether it's a dentist whether it's a doctor whether it's a lawyer there's there's a process there's a linear workflow needed to onboard people so what else did we teach them there? so clay clark taught robert redmond and tim redmond how to retain the clients there's a process to that the reason why business quite you know many of my clients are with me for six years or longer is because we help them grow and we keep them on track. And if you go to thrivetimeshow.com and you look at the success stories that we've had for Robert and Tim Redmond and other clients, the success stories are amazing and they can almost seem unbelievable, but we actually teach people these systems. And the reason why people stick around for a long time is it's such an affordable deal. In the case of Tim, you know, he's at a flat monthly fee. He's got free office space. He's got staff training. He's got the hiring process that we're doing for him. He's got my team to do photography, videography, web. He's got no over, no uh, fixed costs for his video, photography, web, search engine team because we're doing all that for him. And he actually could invite his clients to my workshops so his clients actually got a workshop that they could benefit from. Let's continue. Number 27, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to lead a business workshop and conference by allowing Robert Redman and Tim Redman to speak for free at Clay Clark's two-day interactive business workshop at Clay Clark's office that Robert Redman and Tim Redman were officing in for free. Could you imagine being in a situation where the, your mentor says, hey, if you want to improve your speaking skills and you want to optimize your ability, why don't you just speak at my conferences? <laughs> and why don't I not charge you to do it? And why don't I fill it up for you? That's I mean, a, that, that's a hot deal. That's a hot deal. Let's get let's keep going because this story seems unbelievable, but it is believable. Let's continue. Number twenty eight. Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to optimize their Google Map. Yeah, a lot of uh, business owners don't know how to optimize their Google Map, how to create the Google Map, how to launch the Google Map. But we uh, taught them how to do that, and and it really proved to be very fruitful for uh, Tim Redman. Let's continue. Number twenty nine. Clay Clark painted a door red and designed the interior of his office space so that it would be conductive for hiring new employees. Yeah. So we actually, I actually designed his office space, which I gave him for free, the office space. So that way it would be conducive for um, bringing on new employees and clients because, you know, a lot of people, they have an office space that uh, does not inspire confidence. And so when we look at this video here, I'm going to hit play here, and this is going to be the next voice you're here is going to be Tim and uh, Robert Redman talking about their business here. You'll see this. And I'm the CEO and founder. My name is Tim Redman, and I'm the CEO and founder of Redman Growth Consulting. My name is Robert Redman, and I am the we shot this video, edited this video, managing director and lead consultant at Redman Growth Consulting. When we first start working with our clients, many times we find that they they own a business, but really the business owns them. And we begin to work with them step by step, week by week, showing them our proven. So all the artwork you see here kind of looks like my office. You know, I helped them build that, build it out came up with a plan, an interior design plan uh, to create a cohesive theme. And that's that's what we did. Let's continue there. Number 29, or number 30 now, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to improve the branding for their clients in a linear fashion. Yeah, let's continue. 31, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to install a three-legged marketing stool for Redman growth. That's the process. How do you go out there and get new clients? We taught Tim Redman and Robert Redman how to do that. Yep. 
Number 32, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to install the three-legged marketing stool for their clients. So for, we not only taught Tim and Robert Redman how to install the three-legged marketing stool for their business, but we taught them how to do it for other clients as well. Yep. 33, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman what a three-legged marketing stool was. It's kind of hard to implement one if you don't know what it is. Let's continue. <laughs> yep. 34, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to create a one-sheet for their clients. And apparently they like it so much even today. Day. It's like it's almost a virtual copy of my one sheet on their website. Let's continue. It's incredible. Yeah. Number 35, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to create a one sheet for Redman growth. Let's continue. Yeah. 36, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to write a pre-written sales email. When, when leads come in, you've got to have a pre-written email, a pre-written text. you got to have a pre-written system, which you, know, you, when you work in the office today, now there's a pre-written response for inbound leads. And we had to teach Tim and Robert Redman how to make that. Let's continue. 37, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to create a sales culture and outbound call center. You know, a lot of people in their business, they have a nice office, but no one's doing anything. And so we had to teach Tim and Robert how to create that kind of culture where everybody's on the phone. There's a good buzz in the room, a good energy. We helped them how to do that. And, and one of the ways we did that is, A, I provided them office space. B, they actually got the chance to, their team was located next to my team in the office. So it was a really neat opportunity for them to see uh, directly um, how we um, you know, run a sales culture because they were in the culture and they were officing for free. Yep, continue. 38, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to create a tracking sheet for clients that are usable and trackable. Yeah, now what we're going to do again on today's show, on part two of today's show, we're going to let Tim and Robert Redman in their own words explain to you how we help them uh, to grow their business because it's truly remarkable. And again, uh, it's one of these things where a lot of people said it's unbelievable how do you help somebody double their business every year i know that if i heard that i would think how's that possible so we're just showing you how that was possible uh to grow uh robert and tim redmond's uh, business called redmond growth let's continue 39 clay clark taught robert redmond and tim redmond how to create checklists and repeatable processes for their clients Absolutely. That is a huge um, skill set that they needed to learn is how do you make checklists and repeatable processes for your clients? Uh, I also uh, created a very intense, um, I, I taught both Tim and Robert Redmond how to, um, basically, I, I taught uh, Robert Redmond and Tim Redmond what practical business books that they could use to teach clients, what practical business books could be used to teach clients. Um, you know, because this is a big thing, um, you know, it, it should be used to teach clients again. So I taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman what practical business books should be used to teach clients, because a lot of times clients, they, 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 they there's so many books out there, they, they get overwhelmed with information. And I had to point out like, hey, Winning by Jack Welch is the only book you need to read on management. OK, um, search engine optimization for dummies. That's the book you reference. Um, Get Rich Click is an incredible book to teach people how to, you know, um, I, you, you, I had to walk people through, I would teach them, hey, the Honest Seduction is the website that you, or the, the book you want to teach them, have your, is, is the book you want to recommend if someone wants to know why a landing page works that way. Um, I had to t walk them through these books because most people haven't read the service profit chain, uh, the Harvard case study. They haven't read the value profit chain case study. They haven't read these books. There's so many books that you could teach clients and there's so much conflicting information. I wanted to give them a proven path and specific books that I would recommend to my clients. And because I was already working with clients, they were able to piggyback off of my success and to follow exactly what I was doing. Let's continue. Number 41, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to train business coaches by actually training their Redman growth business coaches. Yeah. So, I mean, I let, I, I taught the business Redman growth team. I taught the coaches how to coach. They, they didn't know these people were, uh, uh, you know, Nicole, I think was mid twenties. I think Harley was mid twenties. They had never coached clients before, no experience in, in business. And I taught them how to do it. Harley shadowed me, Robert Redmond shadowed me. You're going to hear their story in a minute, but I mean, I basically built Redmond growth from the, the complete. I mean, they had, imagine this, you're a 20 year old right off the boat, never had a job before. And you're being taught directly by me how to do it. It's incredible. It's, and I wouldn't do it 
unless unless you were getting seven hundred fifty dollars per month per client, and I wouldn't do it for a person like Tim Redmond unless I knew that he was an honest guy who always honored his agreements. Right. That's that is that is such a core thing. And let me let me just tell you something about the word integrity. It comes from the word integer, which means indivisible. So it doesn't change over time. So let me give you an example. You work in this office. You help sell tickets for conferences and things that we do, right? Yes, sir. I wouldn't over time. Let's say you've been here for a year. I wouldn't say, you know, being that you've been here a year, I've decided, and you're very good at what you do, I've decided to no longer let you work here. I would not do that to you. (laughs) Right. You know? Because I found somebody who could do it cheaper. I would never say, hey, James, you're doing a great job, so today's your last day. I'm going to replace you with someone else because I found someone who could do it cheaper. Why would I not do that? Because you're a loyal guy. And I honor my agreements. Right. Right? And you have integrity. That's how it is. That's that's how it is. That's, that's how it should be. And that's that's really uh, why you know I decided to help Tim Redmond grow his business. Because Tim Redmond, according to what you've heard in this office, Tim Redmond is... He's uh, an honest guy who always honors his agreements. And that's all it takes. Right. Hopefully we're getting a the theme here. Hopefully we're understanding that that's the only... If you're an honest person, always honors your agreements, I can help you grow your business. Boom. Now, if you're a squirrel who has situational morality if you're the kind of duplicit plotting nefarious person who would plot the uh a way to weasel your way out of an agreement if you're the kind of nefarious um uh, petty uh uh person nefarious means intentionally causing harm if you're the kind of intentional nefarious person that would actually Sit down over time and plot a way that you could get out of an agreement or not honor the agreement or actually lie about the number of clients that you have. I would not work with you. No, I would not. Right. And that is why we decided to work with Tim Redmond. Because he would never do that. He would never do He would never do it. He would never. That's. But again, there are people that do that. You know what I'm talking about? And money's a magnifier, is it not? It is. It money's a is. magnifier, you know? And so uh, money just magnifies who you are. And that's why if you go to thrivetimeshow.com and you click on testimonials, there are thousands of clients that we've helped to grow. And you've, you've met a lot of them. I know a, a ton of them I've met. You see, you see them. It's incredible. It really is. And if Remarkable. somebody's just honest and hardworking, what happens? Then their business doubles, triples, quadruples. Some people come in with nothing, and then eight months later, they're $500,000 deep in a new business. And I offer people scholarships to help people in need. We offer a workshop every two months. We offer endless business books to teach them how to grow the business, a personal one-on-one mentorship. Now, not everybody do I go into a commitment or a partnership with. Now, um, the word partner, let's talk about the word partner for a second. Okay, partner. A partnership is an agreement where it's a relationship between two or more people in, in, in business, let's say. Okay, so it's where you're agreeing, you're saying, I'm going to do my part if you do your part. Right. Right. And and in business, what will happen if you're not dealing with honorable people is you'll discover this thing called embezzlement. Now, embezzlement is uh, the kind of thing that, you know, you you, again, you don't want to be working with people that are going to embezzle money from you. Right. So embezzlement is the theft or misappropriation of funds placed in one's trust. Uh, or belonging to one's employer. Um, okay, so um, embezzlement is a term commonly used for a type of financial crime, usually involving theft of money from a business or employer. Um, so, as an example, you know, if we're helping Tim Redmond grow from one client, in this case, he said he had between five and twenty, and we and he said in his own words, we helped him get to a hundred clients. Right. Then my payment. Very simple math should be seven hundred fifty dollars times one hundred should be how much? Seventy five thousand dollars per month. Right. Very simple. Right. And so because we know, we knew, we know that Tim Redmond is not the kind of guy that would ever misappropriate. Right. The money. He's not the kind of guy that would ever say, "Oh, I only have sixty clients when I have a hundred, so as to pay you less," because he isn't that kind of guy 
We never had to worry about that. That's right, because he's an honest guy who always honors his agreements. Let's continue. Hopefully, we're getting a theme here. Let's keep going. Number 42, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman the importance of having a weekly accountability meeting with clients to prevent drifting. Right. Right. That's a big thing because if you don't have a weekly meeting with your clients, when I first started working with Tim, he was used to the model where you don't have a weekly meeting with your clients. Okay. Um, he was used to a different model. But if you don't have a weekly meeting, what happens is, is the client begins to drift. Action items don't get done. And all of a sudden, you begin to have idea festivals where you fill the room with ideas of things that you could do, but you don't actually get anything done. Let's continue, sir. Number 43, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to gather video reviews from happy clients. Yeah. And that's, that's a, if you don't know to do it, it's hard to do it, right? Right. But I had to <laughs> teach Tim the importance of gathering those objective video reviews from happy clients. Therefore, you're building your online reputation and your search engine rank every single day. Let's continue. Number 44, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to enhance your online reputation. That's what we had to do. Again, it's very important that when people look you up, when they type in the word Tim Redmond, they type in the word, the phrase, the name Tim Redmond, you know, what comes up often uh, it, it is what somebody perceives to be true, right? Right. So we had to teach Tim and Robert Redmond how to optimize their online reputation. Let's continue. Number 45, Clay Clark taught Robert Redmond and Tim Redmond how to produce podcasts. Now, you watch me produce podcasts every single day. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and so one of the best ways to learn how to produce a podcast is to watch it. Right. So I let them actually hop on my show often so they could watch me uh, produce podcast. So let's continue. Number 46, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to document client success stories and case studies. It's incredible. That's what we did, right? That's that was that's what we did. That's how we did it. Let's continue. 47, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to create effective no-brainer offers for their clients. Uh, you have to learn how to create an effective no-brainer uh, offer for your clients. You have to do it because if a client doesn't see an ad, an offer that's so hot, they're not going to fill out the form. They're not going to call you. So like an elephant in the room, the first haircut is a dollar. Dr. Robert Zeller and Associates, the first eye exam and the first stylish pair of glasses is $99. Uh, if you look at the businesses I work with, go to pmhokc.com. You're going to see their no-brainer. You go to shawhomes.com. You have to have a no-brainer. And if you don't have a no-brainer, you, you just won't generate leads. And so I had to teach Robert and Tim Redmond how to create effective no-brainer offers for their clients. And I had to teach Robert Redmond and Tim Redmond how to design advertisements. These are online advertisements, online and offline advertisements that generate leads. This is such an important skill set. If you don't know how to generate leads, we can teach you how to do that. Let's move on to number 49, sir. Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to generate speaking opportunities via online marketing. Yeah, and this is a thing where Tim was able to then speak at more events, generate more revenue, and get in front of more potential clients. Let's continue. Number 50, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to create a history timeline. This is very important. We taught them how to do it. We put it on the wall. We printed it. It was a glorious, uh, in a Riverwalk office, people would walk in and go, man, who designed this history timeline and, and they would say well clay clark did it you know and that's that and again we, we had no problem doing it in providing it providing this incredible service for them and free office space because we knew that tim redmond is what kind of guy he's an honest guy who always honors his agreements yes he is let's continue Number 51. Yep. Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to create an About Us video. An About Us video is a very important thing uh, for every business. If you have a business out there today, you need an About Us video and you need a How It Works video because a How It Works video and the About Us video, that tells you, if you click on the website, it tells you about us, who are we, what do we do? And then the How It Works video, that's a video that explains how your process works. And we taught Tim, we taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to create and about us video and a how it works video. Let's continue. Number 53, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to utilize public relations to increase your conversion rate. If you look up Tim Redmond and you go to YouTube and you type in Tim Redmond, you're going to see that a lot of his media appearances all happened around the same time. 
you know, a lot of these uh, media appearances, they just, boom, they showed up. And I taught Tim how to get featured on the local news. So here's Channel 8 interviewing hey, Tim Redmond. question for you. And I helped Tim set these up, taught him how to do it, because people perceive you as more credible if they see you in the news. So here we go. This is Welcome back. Redmond Growth Initiatives is an organization designed to grow your profits, grow your business, and grow your life. So as you start thinking about the direction you and we got Tim on these shows next year, Tim Redmond can help you on that journey. We're happy to have Tim on the show this morning. How are you? Thank you, Erin. Yeah, I'm doing great. Really mm -hmm. excited about that. I think there's plenty of local businesses out there, local business owners who say next year it is going to be my yes. year. You know, I'm anyway. So we taught Tim uh, how to get on those news networks because people perceive your business to be more credible if you get featured on the local news. Let's continue. Number 54, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to use WordPress websites. Yeah, and uh, uh, we and and I allowed them um, and uh, I allowed them to use my proven uh, templates and website development process. I have a website development process that is next level and it's quick and it's efficient. You don't spend months thinking about how to launch a website. We get it done quickly. And that's the kind of stuff that we provided for them because it was a win-win or a shalom relationship. Let's, let's continue going there. Number 55, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to create WordPress websites. This is big. So how to use the websites, how to create them. Let's continue. Number 56, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to start and grow a business coaching and business growth business and he did this because Clay Clark and Tim Redman had entered into a signed contractual agreement where Tim Redman agreed to pay pay uh, to pay Clay Clark a flat monthly fee for each new client that Redman growth acquired and you, would you like to read the agreement so you can see the kind of simple agreements that I sign with people? I want to read this agreement right I'm now. I'm going to put a link on the show notes so people can read the agreement. That, isn't that great? That's amazing. But, uh, talk about transparency. I'm just going to put it out there so there's no you know, puffery of, I wonder what the agreement looks like. I wonder what it means. I wonder if it's a tricky thing. You know, A lot of times you get a cell phone contract and it's massive. It's long. Did you read it? You sign a mortgage. Did you read it? By the way, the mortgage word mortgage means death grip. My agreements are so short. <laughs> I'm serious. They're just very simple agreements, so it's very clear. And what I do is I give it to my client, and I say, don't sign it today. I want you to look at it, pray about it, form a committee, talk to your attorney. I don't want you to sign it under duress. Right. Why do I do that? So they could feel comfortable about it, and they know it's an honest agreement. Right. And so that that and then Tim signed that, you know, knowing that. This is what the agreement stated. Right. Let's continue. Yeah. Number 57, Clay Clark taught Robert Redman and Tim Redman how to grow a business consulting business from five to 20 clients to a business growth consulting business with 100 plus clients. Yeah. And so what we're going to do now on part two of today's show is we're going to let Tim Redmond in his own words explain to you how we helped him grow his business. So if you're out there today, uh, whether you're Tim Redmond or not, we encourage you that, that, that we want to what the show to encourage you that you too have the tenacity and capacity needed to be successful as long as James as long as you're an honest guy who always honors his agreement and who was an honest guy that always honored their agreements Tim Redman was the honest guy who always honored his agreement that's right and on the rest of the, and in the notes today we're going to put a link so you can see all the podcasts that we've interviewed Tim Redmond on uh, it's going to be a blasty blast folks to learn more just go to redmondgrowth.com you can learn more about how he helped Tim Redmond uh, or you can go to thrivetimeshow.com schedule free 13 point assessment for uh uh with me and i'll teach you how to grow your business just like we helped tim redmond so if you're out there and your name is tim redmond god bless you uh we we hope you're doing very well uh there and uh, uh again folks you too could be the next tim redmond uh, success story you have the mental capacity and the tenacity needed to be successful and we're going to end today's podcast with a three two one are you ready i'm ready okay here we go three two one boom, boom. If we go back eight years ago, think about the, the number of clients you had back then versus the number of clients you have now. As a percentage, what has been the growth over the past eight years, do you think? we got to well, inspire somebody out there who just well, doesn't have the time to listen okay, to their calls. Okay, so Clay, it's, it's, it's like I would go up and down from uh, about $10,000 a month up to about 40000 but it was up and down roller coaster. And so now 
we've we've got it to where we're in excess of a hundred clients. That's awesome. And so I would have anywhere from five clients to twenty clients on my own with networking, but I had no control over it. I, I, I didn't without the systems, you're gonna be at the you're gonna be victimized by your own business. For the, somebody out there who struggles with math, if you let's say that your average cl- number of clients was thirty and you go to a hundred, as a percentage, what is that? I I have grown I have doubled every year since working with you. So I've doubled in clients, I've doubled in revenue every year. It's a hundred percent growth every year I've worked with. Now, so so I'm looking, we've been good friends seven, eight years, and I've got doubled five times. Which is just incredible. I mean, the first time you do it, that's one thing, but when you do it repeatedly, yeah. I mean, that's we're unbelievable. Work, we're working our blessed assurance off this year to double. We're planning on doubling again. We're incorporating new some 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 new things in there to really help us do it. But we are going to double again this year. I started coaching, but it would go up and down, Clay. That's when I came to you as I was going up and down, and I wanted to go up and up instead of up and down. And so that's when it needed a system. So creating a system is... You have nailed down specific steps that you're going to take no matter how you feel, no matter the results, you lean into them and you do them regardless of what's happening. You lean into them and it will give you X number of leads. You follow up with those leads, turns into sales. Well, I tell you, you know, it's... If you don't have a script and you don't have a system, then every day is a whole new creation. You're creating a a lot of energy just to figure out what are you going to do. Right. And the best executives, Peter Drucker is a father of modern management. He said, the most effective executives make one decision a year. What you do is you make a decision, what is your system, and then you work like the Dickens to make sure you follow that system. And so that, that, that's really what it's all about. So with a script here, I, you know, I, uh, we have a brand new gal that just came, came in working for us. She nailed down the script and yep. she's been nailing down appointments. Usually we try to get one appointment for every hundred calls. We make two to 300 calls a day per rep. Right. And she's been nailing down five and eight appointments a day. Somebody out there is having a hard time. script. What's, so she's making how many calls a day? She's making between two and 300 calls a day. Whoa. And our relationship is weird in that we, we do, um, if someone were to buy an Apple computer today, yeah. and, uh, or, or let's say you bought a personal computer, a PC, the computer is made by, let's say, Dell. But then the software in the computer um, would be Microsoft, let's say, or Adobe or whatever that is. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I make, I basically make the systems, and uh, you're you're like the computer, and I'm like the software. It's kind of how I would describe our relationship. Yeah. Tim, uh, I want to ask you this: You and I reconnected. Um, and, uh, I think it was in the year 2000, and uh, what was it? Maybe 2010? Is that right? 2011, maybe, or no, maybe, maybe further down the road, maybe 2013. 2012. Okay, so 2012, and uh, at that time, I had I was five years removed from the D, from the DJ business, and you were how many years removed from tax and accounting software? Uh, it was about 10, 11 years. We met. Um, uh, how did we re meet? What was the first interaction? There was some interaction where you and I first connected. I just remember that somehow you and I went to Hideaway Pizza. But do you remember when we first reconnected? Yeah. Uh, well, we had that speaking thing that. Uh, oh, there it was. So yeah. it's Victory Christian Center. I was yeah. speaking there. My name is Robert Redmond. I uh, actually first met Clay almost three years ago to the day. I don't know if he remembers it or not, but I wasn't working with him at the time. I asked to see him and just ask him some questions to help you know, direct my life, to get some mentorship. Uh, but I've been working with Clay for now just over a year. Uh, the role I play here is a business coach, uh, business consultant. I work with different businesses, implementing uh, best practice processes and systems that I have uh, learned here uh, by working with Clay. And the experience working here has, to put it real plainly, has been just life changing. Um, I have not only learned new things and have gained new knowledge, uh, but but I have gained a whole new mindset um, that I believe wherever I end up uh, will serve me well throughout the rest of my life. Since working with Clay, uh, I have learned so much. I mean, I would like to say almost everything about 
about business in terms of the different categories. I haven't learned it all, uh, but I've learned all about marketing. I've learned about advertising. I've learned about branding. I've learned how to create a sales process for organizations in any industry. I've learned how to sell. Uh, I've learned how to create repeatable systems and processes and uh, hold people accountable. Um, you know, how to hire people. It j- it's, it's almost like every aspect of a business you can learn, I have learned um, a lot in, in those different categories. Uh, and then, a- again, the, the mindset that I've gained here um, has been huge. You know, uh, working here, uh, you, can't, you, you can't be a mediocre person. Um, you are uh, a call to a higher standard of, of excellence. And then as you're called to that standard here, you begin to see those outcomes in every area of your life, uh, that standard of excellence that, that you want to implement um, no matter what you're involved in. Uh, I would like to describe the other uh, people that, that work with Clay uh, are people that are going somewhere with their life. Uh, Marshall in, in the group interview uh, talks about how, uh, you know, the, the best fits for this organization are, are the people that, that are goal-oriented. So they're on their own trajectory, and we're on our own trajectory. And uh, the, the best fits are those people where there can be a, a mutually beneficial relationship, that as we pursue our goals uh, and we help the business pursue those goals, the uh, business helps us pursue our goals as well. Uh, and so I'd say people that are driven, people that want to make something of their lives, uh, people that are uh, goal-oriented, they're focused, uh, uh, and uh, they're committed to overcoming any adversity that may uh, come their way. Clay's passion for helping business uh, owners grow their businesses is it's, it's unique in that I don't know if there's anyone else's that can be as passionate. Um, you know, whenever a business starts uh, uh, working with Clay, uh, it, it's almost as like Clay is is running that business in the sense that he has something at stake. Um, you know, he's just serving them. Uh, they're, they're, they're one of his clients, but it's, it's as if he is actively involved in the business. Whenever they have a win, he's posting it all over his social media. He's shouting it across uh, the, the room here, here at Thrive. Um, you know, he's uh, sending people encouraging messages. He can kind of be that, that life coach and, and, and business coach in terms of being that uh, a motivator and that champion for uh, people's businesses. It's, 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 again, unique because there's no one else I've seen uh, get so excited about and passionate about other people's businesses. The kind of people that wouldn't like working with Clay are people that are satisfied with, with mediocrity, uh, people that uh, want to get th- through life by just doing enough by just getting by, uh, people who are not looking to develop themselves, people who are not coachable, people who think that they know it all and they're unwilling to change. Um, I would say those are the type of people. In, in short, anyone that's content with mediocrity uh, would not like working with Clay. So if um, you're meeting Clay for the first time, the advice I'd give you is uh, definitely come ready to take tons of notes. Uh, Every time Clay speaks, he uh, um, gives you a wealth of knowledge uh, that you don't want to miss. I remember the first time that I met Clay, I literally carried a notebook with me all around. I was looking at this notebook the other day, actually. I carried a notebook with me uh, all around, and I just took tons of notes. I filled the entire notebook in uh, about about three or four months uh, just from being around Clay, following him, and and, and learning from him. And then I would say, "Come, come coachable. Uh, uh, be be open to uh, learning something new. Be open to challenging yourself. Uh, be open to um, learning and and adjusting parts about you that that uh, need to be adjusted. I learned at the academy in Kings Point in New York. Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. All right, Thrive Nation, on today's show, we're going to be breaking down what Robert Kiyosaki has recently been talking about. Robert Kiyosaki, the best-selling author, the New York Times best-selling author and real estate investment guru, has recently been talking more and more about octa non verba. You say, what's octa non verba? Well, one, it's Latin, so don't, don't get too concerned there, but it's octa Again, this octa non verba. What it means is what what it means is 
is action. You're, you need to watch what people do and not what they say. That's that's the idea. Watch what somebody does and not what they say. Hi, I'm Ryan Wimpy. And I'm Rachel Wimpy. And the name of our business is Tip Top Canine. Our business is a dog training business. We help people with behavioral issues and teach their dog how to listen. When I was learning to become a dog trainer, we didn't learn anything about internet marketing or advertising or anything at all. Just, just dog training. And that's what's so great about working with Clay and his team because they do it all for us. So that we can focus on our passion and that's training dogs. Uh, Clay and his team here, they're so enthusiastic. Their energy is off the charts. Never a dull moment here at Thrive. We've been working with Clay and his team for the last five months, two of which have been our biggest months ever. One, our biggest gross by 35%. Clay's helped us make anything from brochures to stickers, new business cards, new logos, scripts for phones, script for email, script for text message, scripting for everything. How I would describe the weekly meetings with uh, Clay and his team are awesome. They're so effective. It's worth every minute. Um, things get done. We'll ask for things like different flyers and they're done before our hour is up. So it's just awesome, extremely effective. If you don't use Clay and his team, you're probably going to be pulling your hair out or you're going to spend half of your time trying to figure out the online marketing game and producing your own flyers and marketing materials, print materials, all the stuff like that. You're really losing a lot as far as lost productivity and lost time. Not having a professional do it, it's has a real sense of urgency and that actually knows what they're doing when you already have something that's your core focus that you already know how to do. You would also be missing out with all the time and financial freedom that you would have uh, working with Clay and his team. We would recommend Clay and his team to other business owners because they need to be working on their business, not just trying to figure out the online game, which is complex and changing daily. So no one has a marketing team too. Most people don't, they can't afford one and their local web guy or a local person that they know probably can't do everything that a whole team and a whole floor of people can do in hours and not just weeks or months. There's a definite sense of urgency with Clay and his team. I used to have to ride other web people, um, really, I mean really ride them to get stuff done and stuff is done so fast here and people, there's a real sense of urgency to get it done. It's great. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Deeds, not words. So acta, non verba. Deeds, not words. Or acts, not words. Um, James, a lot of people, they, 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 they come to our business workshops uh, because they're listening to our podcast, our business, work, our business podcast, and they say, man, I want to achieve massive success. And they, they see some of the testimonials and they go, if that guy could do it, I could do it. That's kind of where it starts. I see it happen all the time, Clay. Because your desk is about two inches from mine. Right. And so people will say, oh, I, if, if, if that guy can do it, then I can do it. That's correct. So the two big principles I want to teach on today's show, just two principles. One is this idea of octa non verba, means acts, not words. The second concept I want to teach is that money is a magnifier. I was looking to learn uh, how to take my business, like they've said today, from being very successful to being systematic. I've got a very successful practice in three different cities, uh, make good money, uh, just want to take it to the next level um, with systems and processes to where I can drive my cars more. Paul Hood. I have been a CPA for 33 years. And what kind of um, growth have you and your great team had here over the past, let's say, five, six years? The last five, when I met you five years ago, we were doing three million. This year, we'll be, we'll do 24 million. Which is more than, which is more than, and he's an accountant, so we're going to talk about that. So, Paul introduced me to Bob because he said there's a guy that came into my office looking to raise some capital. I think that was the thing, and he needed to get some sales going. That sales going. That's how. And so we, if we tell Paul from the accounting perspective, I'll pass the mic to you. You do account. You do accounting. Um, why do you have to? You have to have a website that makes sense and all that branding stuff. How how has that impacted your your brand having websites and all those branding things in place? Well, when I met you, like most CPAs, I thought my clients only come from referrals, but we get five five hundred leads. Uh, in a, in a two month period, every month just off of Google, and so this is my face. This is, this is we have 17 offices across four, sta four states. We have in every in every state, but 
this is this is our face like like what you were since visual and it all and it also us to say why we're different uh, that about us from there is spectacular and it just uh, it's it's an industry tree that has changed we're we're modifying it we're going to we're going to a we offer our services in, in a, a subscription model uh, to where it's all inclusive and it's just been awesome will determine the level of success so Success in business is not, not what you know how to do. It's actually doing it. And so the thing that I would tell you is stop it. Get get a freak like this guy and let him go after it. Insane. Because then you can be doing what you do well and and take that that time and invest in something else on top of that on top of that as contacts and i'm not this is not i don't i don't get anything for selling his just telling you what he's done for us so that we could focus and then he'll come in and and i'll say you know i you know i think i've got it all and he listens for five minutes and he makes and he makes one and i want to slap myself in the face well why didn't i think about that's idiotic um but they're sick freaks they just get it get it done I don't know. I think it's because it's merit-based pay in their office. So if the people here, like they get paid. So if we were taking on your account, account and someone else to do this, but if you hired a different marketing company, I'm just giving you best practices. You want to make sure that they win when you win. So like in our office, if we, we grow Dave Acey's podcast, that benefits our comp- company to the extent it benefits them, but we actually benefit if they benefit. Does that make sense to you? I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. So on today's show, I'm going to just hammer uh, testimonials. So you can see people that, that heard about the conference through a podcast or through a friend or whatever. And they had a business that was stagnant. It was, it was stuck. It, it wasn't growing. It wasn't thriving. It was just surviving, right? It was stagnant. It was stuck. It wasn't growing. It was just stagnant. It was stuck. It was just, it wasn't thriving, it was surviving. And they, they heard about the podcast, they heard about the conference, they heard about the success stories, and they came to the conference. That, that's step one, they came to the conference. And by the way, if you go to thrivetimeshow.com, thrivetimeshow.com, you can name your price for all the workshops I do. We want to make it affordable for everybody. So they came out to the in-person two-day workshop. They went to Thrive Time Show. They requested a ticket. We called them, got them their ticket. Then... James, we, we, they, we interviewed them after the conference and we said, how was it? Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy. I'm originally from Tulsa, born and raised here. I've definitely learned a lot about life design and making sure the business serves you. Um, the goal setting, while it's not like, it's somewhat basic stuff, making sure we have different goals for every part of your life is super important. Also, the linear workflow. The linear workflow for us and getting everything out on paper and documented is really important. Um, like we have workflows that are kind of all over the place. So the having linear workflow and seeing that mapped out on multiple different boards uh, is pretty awesome. That's really helpful for me. The atmosphere here is awesome. I definitely just stared at the walls, figuring out how to make my facility look like this place. This place rocks. It's invigorating. The walls are super, um, it's just very cool. The atmosphere is cool. The people are nice. Uh, it's a pretty cool place to be. Very good learning atmosphere. I literally want to model it and steal everything that's here at this facility and uh, basically create it just on our business side. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. And they said, oh my gosh, I learned so much about business. I learned about the workflows and the marketing and the search engine optimization and the branding and the the hiring and the checklists and all this, uh, the the bookkeeping, the search engine optimization, the online advertising, the social media. I learned it all. Woo! Yes, I learned it. However... It's acts, not words. Octa non verba. So James, if somebody comes to a conference and they learn all this stuff, but they don't apply it, what happens? Nothing happens. But there is a certain group of people, not our listeners, who run around acquiring information and they don't apply it. Those are the worst types. So this is what happens is Napoleon Hill, the best-selling author, he says that knowledge without application is meaningless. Napoleon Hill, the best-selling author, think and grow rich. 
Hi, I'm Aaron Antis with Shaw Homes. I first heard about Clay through a mortgage lender here in town who had told me what a great job he had been doing for them. And uh, I actually noticed he was driving a Lamborghini all of a sudden, so I was willing to listen. Uh, in my career, I've sold a little over $800 million in real estate. So honestly, I thought I kind of knew everything about marketing and um, homes. And then I met Clay and my perception of what I knew and what I could do definitely changed. After doing 800 million in sales over a 15 year career, I really thought I knew what I was doing. I've been managing a large team of salespeople for the last 10 years here with Shaw Homes. And I mean, we've been a company that's been in business for 35 years. We've become one of the largest builders in the Tulsa area and uh, that was without Clay. So when I came to know Clay, I really thought, man, there's not much more I need to know, but I'm willing to listen. The interesting thing is our internet leads from our website has actually in a four month period of time has gone from somewhere around 10 to 15 leads in a month to 180 internet leads in a month. Just from the few things that he's shown us how to implement that I honestly probably never would have come up with on my own. So uh, I got a lot of good things to say about the system that Clay put in place with us. And it's just been an incredible experience. I am very glad that we met and had the opportunity to work with Clay. So the interaction with the team and with Clay on a weekly basis is honestly very enlightening. One of the things that I love about Clay's perspective on things is that he doesn't come from my industry. He's not somebody who's in the home building industry. I've listened to all the experts in my field. Our company has paid for me to go to seminars, international builder shows, all kinds of places where I've had the opportunity to learn from the experts in my industry. But the thing that I found working with Clay is that he comes from such a broad spectrum of working with so many different types of businesses that he has a perspective that's difficult for me to gain because I get so entrenched in what I do, I'm not paying attention to what other leading industry experts are doing. And Clay really brings that perspective for me. It is very valuable time every week when I get that hour with him. From my perspective, the reason that any business owner who's thinking about hooking up with Thrive needs to definitely consider it is because the results that we've gotten in a very short period of time are honestly monumental. It has really exceeded my wildest expectation of what he might be able to do. I came in skeptical because I'm very pragmatic and as I've gone through the process over just a few months, I've realized it's probably one of the best moves we've ever made. I think a lot of people probably feel like they don't need a business or marketing consultant because they maybe are a little bit prideful and like to think they know everything. I know that's how I felt coming in. I mean, we're a big company that's definitely one of the largest in town. And so we kind of felt like we knew what we were doing. And I think for a lot of people, they let their ego get in the way of listening to somebody that might have a better or different perspective than theirs. I would just really encourage you if you're thinking about working with Clay. I mean, the thing is, it's month to month. Go give it a try and see what happens. I think in the 35 year history of Shaw Homes, this is probably the best thing that's happened to us. And I know if you give them a shot, I think you'll feel the same way. I know for me, the thing I would have missed out on if I didn't work with Clay is I would have missed out on literally an 1800% increase in our internet leads going from 10 a month to 180 a month that would have been a huge financial decision to just decide not to give it a shot I would absolutely recommend Clay Clark to anybody who's thinking about working with somebody in marketing I would skip over anybody else you were thinking about and I would go straight to Clay and his team I guarantee you're not gonna regret it because we sure haven't
I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York. Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Knowledge without application is meaningless. So James, if somebody comes to a conference and they learn all this and they don't apply it, that doesn't ma matter because the idea is acta non verba, acts not words. So if people come to this conference, you're gonna see testimonies of people who came to the conference and they say, wow, I had no idea that this was possible. And then you're gonna see people, I'm gonna show you testimonies of people that applied what we taught them. People that have grown uh, their accounting practice. Now, by the way, an, an accounting practice. This is not someone who has invented the concept of accounting. There's, there's other accounting. This, this just did. There are other accountants. Uh, my business it consists. I'm a CPA and a financial advisor, and uh, we're very successful. And I want to go from successful to systematic. I want to learn systems and processes so that uh, the business can run without me. I learned at the academy in Kings Point, in New York. Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. But this person, they, they came to the conference, they learned about how to scale their company. I taught them how to create a subscription model for their accounting as opposed to doing the traditional accounting model. And they've grown the company from three million to over $20 million. Wow. Then you're gonna see a testimonial of success story of a home builder who grew the home building business from 15 million to over 150 million, a home builder. And by the way, this just did. There are other home builders. But this home builder grew from 15 million to 150 million of sales. That's life changing, Clay. You're going to hear about a dog trainer who came to this event. Now, let me tell you about the dog trainer. He came to this event and uh, he had a wonderful uh, business that was just, it was stagnant. It was stuck. It wasn't, wasn't able to, to grow. He, great guy, uh, knew how to train dogs, but he didn't have a no brainer offer. He didn't have a website that was optimized. He didn't have branding that made sense. He didn't have a one sheet. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. And you can see, it's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. So we really just want to thank you, Clay, and thank you, Vanessa, for everything you've done, everything you've helped us with. We love you guys. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York. Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. He didn't have branding that made sense. He didn't have a one sheet, didn't have a pricing structure that worked, didn't have a linear workflow, didn't have an office culture environment, didn't have decoration in the office that would make people want to work there, didn't understand the process of hiring, inspiring, training, and retaining great people, didn't have a, a, a performa, didn't know how to franchise, didn't know how to license. But what we do, James, is we, we take people in, they come to the conference, they learn this stuff, and they go, could you teach me how to do it? And I say, Absolutely. Now, folks, here's the secret sauce that allows me to be the boss. My job is to make big obstacles seem small. What? Here's the secret sauce that allows me to be the boss. It, uh, I, my job is to make big obstacles seem small. 
Uh, favorite aspect is probably just how entertaining it is um, and the fact that I pick up one or two or three things every time I come to take my business to the next level. Well, if people are people are missing out on basically a plan, a guaranteed plan, pretty much if you're willing to work it to be successful. Most people, I think everybody should attend one of these workshops at least once because you don't know what you don't know. And we're not taught to be successful in school. I learned at the Academy, King, King's Point in New York, Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. A lot of people, they, they have a fear or a phobia of, of, of scaling their business or building the processes. They feel like they don't know what to do or they, they, need, they need kind of a coach or a mentor to guide them down the path. And so on today's show, you're going to, to see people that came to a conference, step one. Step two, we taught them how to, uh, they, how to apply the, these principles at the conference. Step three, they hired us to help them scale their company. Step four, you're gonna hear their success stories. Now James, money is a magnifier. We have a little bit of news for you guys. It's um, it's now what May thirty first at right. six twenty one. You've been closed for twenty minutes. Right. No, it's now June. So let's run the numbers for May. Let's Runners see what he's got. Totals one hundred two eight thirty seven. What's last year to date? One hundred two one hundred two eight thirty seven this year. And last year was sixty thousand six sixty seven. Whoa! Coming out of the weeds Whoa. now. <laughs> Boom, baby. Boom! Out of the weeds on the debatement. I learned at the Academy, King, King's Point in New York. Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Or what, what does that mean? Because we're going to show you, we're going to share with you some stories today of an accountant who grew a business from three million dollars to twenty plus million dollars, of a home builder who grew a business from fifteen million to one hundred and fifty million, of, of a dog trainer that was able to scale his business from a stagnant business to fifteen plus locations to grow the business that was perpetually stuck at four hundred thousand ish, grow that into a, a million dollar plus annual revenue. This year's sales for this week. So this is the same week last year. Do you see the difference? Look. What is that? I, I can't really tell. One is. Look. Michael, can you? Can we just? just I just want to get it. To, Jason, can you kind of pull this end maybe, just so you can see it? Let's kind of pull it that way. Yeah, Let's get the link. That's more of a. I can't tell without the link. Exactly. It's hard to tell. Look at that. Okay. So that was last year's sales. This is last year's sales. And the total is a mere $4,711.73. Same week this year, 2015. The total is, read it, my goal. Uh, $11,313.50. Oh, Woo! boom. Woo! There yes! it is. What? Awesome. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today, I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours on the day-to-day Day, he does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, gra and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up and he teaches people a 13 step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building it into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk, kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like 
Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and uh, that's what I like him most about him. He's like, he's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time um, who went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't, his highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or, uh, you know, navigating competition. Competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns, because our clubs were all closed for three months and you have $350,000 of bills you've got to pay and uh, we have no accounts receivable. He helped us navigate that. Um, and of course we were conservative enough that we could afford to, to take that on for a period of time. But it was, uh, anyways, great man. I I'm very imp impressed with him. So Clay, thank you for everything you're doing. And um, I encourage you if, you, if you haven't ever worked with Clay, work with Clay, he's gonna help magnify you. And there's nobody I have ever met that has the ability to work as hard as he does. He probably sleeps four, maybe six hours a day and literally the rest of the time he's working and he can outwork everybody in the room every single day and, and he loves it. So anyways, um, this is Charles Kola with Kola Fitness. Thank you, Clay. Um, and anybody out there that's wanting to work with Clay, um, it's a great, great uh, opportunity to ever work with him. So you guys have a blessed one. This is Charles Kola. We'll see you guys. I learned at the Academy, King, King's Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Uh, it, when, I, when I say money's a magnifier, James, what does that mean? It means if you're already a great person, the money will allow you to, to do greater things. And if you're not a great person, you're going to do things that are just, you're going to do more of the bad stuff. Right. Because that's because money's a magnifier. That's what it is. Right. So if you're a, a greedy, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, a greedy bastard, because that would, that would infer <laughs> that, that, that you just because you don't have a father in your life, that means you're greedy. I'm not going to say that. That doesn't make any sense. But if you're somebody who's, who's greedy, you know, the Bible states, for the love of money is the root of all evil. So it's for the love of money is the root of all evil. Not, not money itself. Um, it's not, the money is just a tool. And people that um, are obsessed with money itself become a tool of the money. Hi, my name is Josh Spurl from Spurl & Associates, Chartered Professional Accountants based out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And uh, I started, I, I met Clay at a conference, at his conference in Tulsa in June of 2018. Started working with the coaching program shortly after there. You know, the experience has been great. You know, you really have a partner in the grind. You know, most people, uh, I like to say most people are wrong about most things about business most of the time. And uh, it's, it's very difficult for entrepreneurs to connect with other entrepreneurs who actually know what they're talking about when it comes to business. But Clay and his team really does understand. You know, the tangible uh, improvements that we've seen is we're up over 50% starting since starting with the coaching program. And, uh, you know, you know, they're helping to help business owners create time freedom and financial freedom. And I know what you're gonna think. You're, you're gonna say, what the heck are you gonna do with your time freedom and financial freedom when you're in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, that's the most northerly city in North America with a million people. You know, we're probably just sitting in our igloos uh, hoping for some television, but I'll give you an idea of what we're doing in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So over here we have Sandra and we have Emma. Emma, say hello. Hi, everybody. This is my daddy's channel. <laughs> Emma really likes any video. So let's give it a break. Let's see what actually the time freedom, financial freedom can do for you in Edmonton. So believe it or not, we have a beach here, guys. Uh, and 
I'll take you on a little tour of Edmonton's beach. Now it's not what you Americans are gonna think of as a beach. This is a this is a northern beach. Sorry, 30, that's 90 for you guys over there. I gotta do the, I gotta do the translation of the map in my head. And we even got a zip line that we can ride down here. And this is what we're doing with our time freedom and financial freedom in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Thanks to the Thrive Time team. Thanks very much, guys. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. But money's just a tool. Money's, money's like a hammer, money's like a tire, money's like a sock, money's like a car. You could use a car for bad things, you could use a hammer for bad things. A lot of people could, you, know, you could kill someone with a hammer. You could kill somebody with a sock, I guess, if you wanted to. You could kill someone with a tire if you wanted to. But I mean, there's a lot of creative thoughts going through people's minds right now. But the, <laughs> the thing is, is that money is just a, a magnifier. And the first Timothy chapter 6.10 reads, For the love of money is the root of all evil. Which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And so what happens is, is that money is a magnifier. And so if you're somebody who's, who's greedy and nefarious and will throw somebody under the bus to make an extra dollar, money's going to allow you to be more of a greedy personality type that will throw somebody under the bus for a dollar. That's what money will allow you to do. The number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for business coaching for almost a year now. Yeah. So so what we want to do is we want to share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now. Okay. Um, I just want to let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both one point three billion dollar companies they both have two to three thousand pages of content um, attached to their website so to basically go from uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something um, but that's come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that thrive has um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on on doing podcasts um, and stay on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on uh, uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google and also we've been um, trying to get Google reviews you know asking our customers for reviews and now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area and that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay. So 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about 85%, and that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten. People really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We It was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in, in the refining process. And that has obviously, um, the 411% shows that that, that that system works. Yeah, so here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91%. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months, or I'm sorry, the first, we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we, we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year, and it's incredible. But but the reason why we have that success by implementing uh, the systems that that Thrive has taught us and and, and helped us out with. So. 
Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. So when everything um, gets done and it gets done right, uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast like Jared had mentioned that has really, really contributed to our success. But that, like is of the diligence and um, consistency in doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Uh, really no new growth um, w with our with our business um, and we, we were in a rut and we didn't know oh, sorry. the last three years our customer base had pretty much stayed the same we weren't shrinking but we weren't really growing either yeah and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go what to do uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in uh, but thrive helped us with that you know they, they implemented those systems that they taught us those systems they taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed now it's been a grind absolutely it's been a grind this last year um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into it. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to really succeed. So uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where, we at, where we're at now um, without their help. I learned at the Academy in King, Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Now, if you're a grateful person, if you're a kind person, and James, that's why we only work with grateful kind of people. That's why when we share these testimonies of wonderful, great, kind of people, it's, it's, a, it's a blasty blast. So James, that's what's fun about capturing these, these success stories, is that real people at the peak of their success are explaining to you how they did it. And luckily, James, we're able to actually gather footage of some of these people at the beginning, when they first came to a conference, and then at the peak when they achieve massive success. So James, I am, I am fired up for people to watch this, this testimonial, but let's make sure I'm being a good teacher here. The two concepts I want to teach you. One, for anybody out there, it's called acta non verba, which in Latin, means acts, not words. That's the idea, it's acts, not words, okay? That's what it means. And then I want to teach the second concept, which again, money is a magnifier. I learned at the Academy, King, King's Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. James, in your own words, what, what does it mean? You say octa non verba, you go, I, I don't understand what you're saying. You say, well, it's Latin, it means, well, in your mind, what does that mean? It means you can't just talk about it, you have to be about it. That's how it works. And somebody says, well, Clay, I can't afford coaching with you guys. Well, good news. We only, we only take on 160 clients, so you know, we, we might not be available. Um, but we do have scholarship pricing. Now, this is how I make money. This is, the, the, this is the secret sauce that allows me to be the boss. One, I make the big obstacles seem small. And two, a lot of my clients, I get a small percentage of the growth. So, James, why would I be so motivated to help somebody who you know, is, is struggling and they're stagnant. Why would I want to invest the time for my own? I mean, if you take the altruism out of it, the fact that I grew up poor and I want to help people be successful, why would I want to help somebody to scale a company if I get 2%? We are joined by none other than my brother from another mother, Mr. Josh, the founder of Living Water Irrigation. Mr. Josh, well, welcome onto the show, my, my friend. How are you? I am awesome, Clay. How are you, sir? Uh, well, I'm excited for the listeners to get to know more about you. Could you share uh, the name of your company, a little bit more about what you guys do at Living Water Irrigation, where the name comes from? Absolutely, positively. So uh, living water irrigation, the most important part of that to me is John 7.38. So there, it's mentioned in the gospel a number of times, uh, where the living water, but our specific scripture that we drew our name from is John 7.38. It says, whoever believes in me, rivers of living water will flow through him. We have a very distinct vision as a company on who we are and what we want to do. And I believe that I was put here to go make some money to give it away. So. And I, um, I'm i not going to ask you uh, for the specific details but of, of your career and how you started the business as far as a you know linear timeline, but how long has this particular business been around? Uh, we've been around just two years, sir. Two years. And you guys, uh, we first met. How did we first meet? Uh, I came in and y'all started coaching me over the Thrive Time, over Thrive 15. 
And uh, what do you remember when that was approximately and, and how you first heard about us? So it would have been October or November of 17. October or November of, of, of 17. Yes, sir. And in terms of your uh, growth as a company, how have you? How much have you grown this year? Uh, so this year we're up 450% year over year. So now that you're implementing this program, you're getting more calls, right? Are you getting more calls? Absolutely. Sales are going up. You're gathering Absolutely. reviews from your real customers, adding content to, your, to, your, to the website, adding a gallery of work. Uh, so I'm going to actually take a minute and make you really uncomfortable, Clay. Nice. So... When we started with y'all, it was awesome. We had a little company, just me and one dude and one little van. Yeah. And uh, 17 was great. I ate more than ramen noodles, but not much more. Right. Um, 18 was really good. We started to implement the systems, got start here, got the boom book, went to a couple conferences and said, okay, I'm going to buy in. I'm going to sell out. We went to the coaching, got coached by Marshall and Victoria and started to implement as opposed to just listen to actually be doers it's in james it says don't just be hearers of the word but be doers as well mm. and so we implemented scripts we implemented systems we implemented checklist we implemented um a pro forma for quoting and all these things that you talk about yeah and so just as a real person and i'm real i promise you there's a bunch of josh wilson's out there yeah. like i'm a famous baseball player and football player oh wow and a gospel singer oh whoa. oh wow but this josh wilson yeah just digs ditches for a living but i just want to say thank you standing here for all the systems i encourage everybody out there go pick up start here go pick up the boom book the stuff you hear on this show it actually sincerely works i learned at the academy in king's point in new york Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Why would I want to help somebody to scale a company if I get 2%? Because when they grow, then you win too. Right. It's a it's a win-win. It's called shalom. Look it up, folks. It's shalom. It's a biblical concept, the idea of a win-win. It's not a zero-sum negotiation, okay? If you're out there and you're, you're a, a decent person, you have a soul, you want to create a shalom relationship, a win-win relationship with your partner. So I make more as my clients make more. That's how that works. It's a win-win kind of thing. Uh, so that's that's the idea. And, and again, James, people can go to thrivetimeshow.com. They can request a ticket. We let them name their price. Um, and we do these conferences every two months. Every two months we do a business conference. And you You've met these people, James. I do. And you know what? I've met them when they came in and, the, and their business is struggling. And then I've seen how they've transformed after a few months. It's like getting a haircut. You know, when you go in and you look oh. real dirty and you come out and you look like the top of the world. And money is a magnifier. And acta non verba. This idea that acts, not words. Okay. It's all about action and gaining traction. It's not about just learning new concepts because knowledge without application is meaningless to quote the great Napoleon Hill. James, you're a beautiful man. You, 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 you smell terrific. I can't wait for people to see you at our in-person workshops. Again, folks, get those tickets at thrivetimeshow.com, thrivetimeshow.com. They're two days. They're interactive. We open up the doors at 7 a.m. We go until about, about 3 p.m. each day. We do a 30-minute teaching sprint, a 15-minute Q&A sec uh, session, and then we break, and then we do 30 minutes of training, 15-minute Q&A, and then we break and then 30 minutes of training, and then 50. So you're going to learn branding, marketing, search engine, all these things. And then, James, we have helicopter rides. We do the helicopter rides from time to time. We have, I think we're roasting a pig at this next. I'm not sure when you're going to hear this podcast, folks, but we have a, we're roasting a pig. We're giving away cash prizes. We're giving away. It is a it is a blasty blast, folks. It's like the opposite of business college. It truly is business school without the BS. James, again, I, I you're almost like a benefit we should add to the package when people go to <laughs> thrivetimeshow.com. It's like, and you get to meet James. So get those tickets again, folks, at thrivetimeshow.com. James, I really do appreciate you joining me today. And to folks, again, get those tickets at thrivetimeshow.com. I'll just leave people with these words. Watch what a person does, not what they say. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live two years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See? It's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. 
this is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grossed 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now, it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. Whoa. The Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business system that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, but I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same system that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever. And we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. Now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you. Whoa. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Harvard Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Today I'm broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're close, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also, but very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts. And so Mr. Clay Clark, he's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man and there's so many ways we could take this thing but i thought uh since you and eric are close trump what were you saying about what trump can't what donald who's my yeah. age and i can say or cannot say what well, I have to, first of all i have to honor you sir i want to show you what i did to one of your books here 
There's All a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you, thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. Well, not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not a thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, changed my life. I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say.